and welcome back to Let's Play Mass Effect. In the last episode, we have finally reached the center of Saren's little hideout here where he's doing his experimentation on the indoctrination effect as well as breeding his Krogan army. Here we are, unloading the A-bomb. In position, we're all set here. Commander, do you read me? The nuke is almost ready, Lieutenant. Get to the rendezvous point. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA pad. We're taking heavy casualties. We'll never make the rendezvous point in time. Hold tight. We're coming to get you. Negative. Just make sure that nuke is set. We'll hold him as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the nuke. Go get them and meet me back here. You keep that nuke safe. Okay. I'm gonna go help out Caden now. Now both Caden and Ashley are inaccessible to the team. I'm gonna go Liara and Hendrix for this team. A lot of biotic power in this team. Let's make the decision, damn it. I had to make a little bit of a cut there because I wandered around a bit mindlessly. door now. And we have a battle. Take cover! There's a few Geth in here and there. A Krogan or two. Not, not an amazingly difficult battle. There are the two Krogan. Did they do a loading screen in the middle of a battle? Can you believe that? Damn Geth are just hopping all over the place. Oh, if you look at the Krogan, managed to throw themselves into the battle. They're battle masters, so they kind of have the same kind of powers that Rex does. They're vanguards, too. Kill it! And it's down. And we can finally move on with our mission. Another elevator ride that kind of breaks up the action a bit, don't you think? I want to head this direction. There's a crate, but I'm not going to bother with it. Damn. Geth are sending in reinforcements. Chief, we just spotted a troop ship inbound to your location. It's already here, and it's bleeding Geth all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many! I don't think we can hold them! I'm hey. activating the nuke! What the hell are you doing, Williams? Making sure this bomb goes off, no matter what! It's done, Commander. Go get the lieutenant and get the hell out of here! Belay that! We can handle ourselves! Go back and get Williams! The decision that you have to make. You have to save one or the other, Caden or Ashley, and the other will die. That's as simple as it is. One of them has to die. I'm gonna save Caden in this case. Alenko, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander. I, I... You know it's the right choice, LT. I'm sorry, Ash. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret a thing. Now, I could go off on this whole thing about it was a better decision to save Caden because he was with the Solarians, and by going there I saved the Solarians as well. If I saved Ashley, it would just be Ashley and the guy that she was hanging around with. But in reality, the only reason why I'm saving Caden in this case is because I've never actually played this game in a situation where I saved him. I always saved Ashley before, so I want to see how it looks in the other direction. Now, as far as practicality goes, because I'm playing as a Vanguard, which is pretty much the same class that Caden is, I 
have better would have, I would have been better off saving Ashling anyway because she has she's a soldier pure soldier ability. If I saved Caden, there's nothing Caden can do that Shepard that Shepard can't do better. It's different with Ashley, but it's already too late. I've made the decision. Oh look, Saren. Got some powerful shields around them. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My guests were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Sovereign and its kind destroyed the Protheans. What else is there to understand? You've seen the vision from the beacon, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. They cannot be stopped. Do not mire yourself in pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead, but what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? Is submission not preferable to extinction? Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the Council. We organics are driven by emotion instead of logic. We will fight even when we know we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, Think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped this facility could protect me. That You're afraid that. Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own. For now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Sure you Why will. are the Geth following Sovereign? They believe Sovereign to be some kind of god. The pinnacle of their own evolution. But the reaction of their deity is most telling. It is insulted. Sovereign does not desire the pitiful devotions the Geth hurl at it. They are just tools, and no amount of belief on their part will change that. But as tools, they are useful. They will survive the coming invasion. If organic life is to survive, we must also prove we are useful. We must work with the Reapers. Tell me why Sovereign needs the Conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. Sovereign needs my help to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I find the conduit, I've been promised a reprieve from the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I become a resource worth maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a Spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. Between organics and machines. 
And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would doom our entire civilization to complete annihilation. And for that, you must die. Well, now we have our battle with Saren here. Not a terrible, not a terribly difficult battle. He just flies around and he throws his bullets around and stuff. Well, just uh, rely on your weapons, because biotic powers are practically useless. And you should be able to take them down pretty quickly. And it's almost over. And it's over. Everybody, hang on! Oh. Ashley just snuffed it. Now we have our debriefing meeting. I can't believe that Ash didn't make it. How could we just leave her down there? We had to leave her behind. Saren has to be stopped. At any cost. But why me? Why not her? It wasn't your call, Olenko. I had to choose. I chose you. But if I'd done my job, you wouldn't have had to make that call. Williams is dead. We can't change that. But if we don't stop Sarah and her sacrifice was made in vain. Yes, sir, I'm... We'll get it done. So quit Commander, bitching. Excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. Tell me, your visions, have they changed at all? Do you know where the conduit is now? No. The vision changed, but it's still not clear. I don't even know what the conduit is. That is unfortunate. Is I am afraid our only choice is to go to Pharos. Maybe we will find what we need there. Pharos. I'll let Joker know where we're headed. Dismissed. Commander, there's a combo nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn him about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. Yeah, go they need to know. Patching it through. Commander Shepard, I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermeer was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. Sovereign's the real problem here. The Reapers wiped out the Protheans. We're next. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign, a sentient machine, a true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming, if it turns out to be accurate. Mother Sovereign's Mother's... a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports, the ones talking about your vision and the Reapers. Always doubting me. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only exist in your visions. Our decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. 
The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have the authority to act as you see fit. If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Well, well that'll bring the end of this episode, so come back next time.